I'm Mark Creedy. I've been a parishioner at St. Michael's Parish for about 11 years. Uh, my wife, Lauren, and I live in the North Andover community, and we have uh, two daughters, Lila and Anna. I just want to thank you for the opportunity to share how I experience God in my daily life. Uh, I think the main way that I do that is through reflection and prayer. Um, you know, I used to have more of a set routine when I was heading into the office to, to visit St. Michael's Adoration Chapel, but lately uh, things are a little bit more disjointed um, during the pandemic. But, uh, you know, I, it, it allows me to reflect and, and pray really at any hour of the day. Um, you know, any time that I can find that I'm present and being mindful and really just able to give thanks to God for his, his greatness and the wonder of, of the, the world around us and, uh, and all the, the things that we're grateful for. I'm also able to experience God through conversations with family, um, in particular my siblings and, and my friends. And, you know, I, I reflect on a conversation I recently had with my older sister, uh, you know, around the purpose of life. You know, we're both, uh, we're both parents and, you know, we had come to the conclusion during that conversation that the purpose of life is to love, um, to love and serve one another. And, and it truly uh, resonates with scripture. Uh, you know, the importance of love, it, it's interesting. I, I was just shared the trailer of a, of a documentary called The Love Affair with the Brain. I haven't seen the movie yet, but it talks about the five factors that are essential to optimal brain function and brain health. And some of the factors are quite obvious, diet and exercise or experiencing new things or challenging the brain. But one of the five factors was love, uh, to, to love and to be loved. And, and I just thought that was so priceless, you know, in, in the design by God, that, that love is so essential to optimal brain health and function. Um, I experienced um, God through serving others. Um, you know, I think of the, the, the St. Vincent de Paul food pantry and bread and roses and missions such as uh, the Lazarus Health to, to really to, in, to ensure um, the needs of, of our community members are met um, with, 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 with their food supply needs, this basic need. Um, for the past several years, I've participated in faith formation groups. It's a small men's group on Sunday nights, uh, really connecting with parents in the parish on a much deeper level. And I have to say that, that this time has been really transformational. This experience has been transformational, really just helping me to multiply my faith journey and, and to really accelerate my learnings within the Catholic Church. Um, also, uh, I have participated in uh, sharing personal witness in the baptismal ministry. Uh, I just love really helping to reinvigorate young families and reawakening them to the, the gift of mass and the power of prayer and just the greatness of having God in, in your life uh, as a regular part of, your, of your, your day and your week. I also feel like through compassion, compassion and empathy within my workplace and or in my community and neighborhoods, um, you know, I, I think that's essential to, to, to provide being a loving person and to, 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 to loving one another. Uh, I find that by trying to be more patient and accepting, um, you know, where I am is exactly where I'm supposed to be. And, and that we all, you know, really need to do our part through our life experience and through pepper, preparation to do what God is asking us to do as we are called upon. Thank you very much for your time.